One hundred years. A hundred years. One hundred years. Our university has finally hit triple digits, and to commemorate, we are at the broadcast media internship and put together something for everyone to enjoy. Yeah. We poured our blood, sweat, and tears into a documentary of this great institution. Everyone knows about Swansea's renowned research and the sports. Here are no joke either. So, we present to you Swansea's history. And three fields where Swansea excels a bit more discreetly. We're sending Misha off now to get ready for the exciting historical montage celebrating the last centenary here at Swans University. Yeah, all the way from the Roaring Twenties till now. I know, right? It's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are delighted to mark this very special milestone, which is the centenary in the university's rich history. Swans University has developed rapidly over the last hundred years. The university's foundation stone was laid by King George V on 19th of July 1920 in Singleton Park. From humble beginnings with only 89 students and one permanent building, within the centenary we've become a dual campus university that educates over 20,000 students from 139 countries. It is now a world-class research institution with staff, students and partnerships spanning the globe. In 1920, the university was founded upon the values of innovation, industry and enterprise, with a mission to support its community and develop highly skilled pioneers that are ready to meet the challenges of the future. That readiness was tested to the full by the current times of uncertainty. Nevertheless, students and partners demonstrated the unwavering resilience enabling the university to adapt to challenges and due adversity and emerge stronger. Moreover, clear parallels can be drawn between key events in our university's history and our actions today as we continue working together to improve lives. During World War II, Swansea University served as a shelter for Department of Explosives Research, which was evacuated from London. Now, our researchers and their collaborators are producing vital research in the fight against COVID-19. From preventing social isolation suicide risk to speed cleaning ambulances carrying infected patients. During Christ and Gift Weeks, students would help raise money for local charities through processions of floats through the town and pram races between Cardiff and Swansea. Now, our students co still continue to volunteer for the benefit of the local community today, with a group of graduate entry medicine students stepping in to offer emergency relief childcare to Swansea health workers. Community has always been at the heart of Swansea University's mission. During World War II, a home guard was set up at the college as it was known then. Now, almost 100 years on, our inspiring students continue this community support to join the NHS frontline in the fight against COVID-19. Finally, Swansea University has always been known from groundbreaking research with globally renowned personalities, such as Professor Oleg Zienkiewicz, which is perhaps the most internationally recognized academics due to development of the revolutionary finite element method. Now, our researchers respond to the current global crisis and Dr. Sharma and his team is currently working on developing world's first COVID smart patch vaccine. Moreover, the ongoing pandemic enforced us to rapidly change the way of teaching from face-to-face -to, -face to online lectures. Now, our teaching staff is working doubly hard to make sure that the quality of teaching hasn't changed at all. And we are very, very happy to hear from our students that they are actually giving us positive feedback 
Despite inevitable adversities and unexpected challenges encountered along the way, we've been always rebuilding, growing and evolving. Down to the values on which Swansea University was first established over the century, we've created an amazing studying and working environment and a community of resilient, forward-thinking professionals who work together to improve lives. And it is that spirit that gives us the unwavering power to make waves to this day. Wow, Misha, welcome back. How did you manage to turn a history lecture into such an epic montage? Uh, well, I was going for an epic sort of vibe, I'm not gonna lie, but I find that when talking about Swansea, it's future that it's truly inspiring. Definitely, but having looked into Swansea's past, what parallels do you see with its future? Well, unstoppable growth for one, and more key research and medical developments for our future generation there is so much potential for Swansea. Definitely. Um, Misha, where's Jesus? I have no idea. Swansea Uni. After a hundred years of excellence, Swansea is recognized as a research heavy haven for students of all origins and ideologies. However, this institution happens to also be a national focal point of culture and art, and for good reason. As the university does not currently offer courses on fine or performing arts, the artistic community has flourished and been molded by the students and alumni who are passionate about all forms of expression. Art and expression has seeped its way into every facet of our university. There seem to be an infinite number of cultural events that take place on campus, such as workshops, exhibitions, or festivals. And Swansea takes part in various international and national contests, like the annual Dylan Thomas competition for our budding writers. Also, projects like the Researchers Art Initiative incite researchers to embrace artistic expression, and those passionate for the limelight take to Swansea's dramatic and dance societies. Singleton Campus's cultural hub is the Taliesin Art Center. Opened in 1984 with the famous inaugural speech given by the one and only Stephen Hawking, the building is named after the 6th century bard from sub-Roman Britain and produces and presents dance, theatre, music, film and broadcast for the Swansea public in English and Welsh. It has housed the beloved Egypt Centre since 1998 as well as the Taliesin Create Space used for exhibitions and workshops. Many famous artists have performed on this part of campus, such as Jamie Cullum, Billy Cobham, and Paco Peña, for example. And the center is responsible for many events throughout the years, most notably, the annual Dance Days Festival. The Grand Hall over on Bay Campus is the cultural hub of Swansea's engineers and business students. Boasting a 700-seat auditorium and state-of-the-art facilities, the Great Hall hosts cultural events like exhibitions, concerts, and lectures to enrich the region's cultural life. Where our university really shines, though, is music. The musical communities within Swansea University are vibrant and varied. All genres and musical tastes are encompassed by our music societies. The Choral Society, the Musician Society, the Gospel Society, the Show Choir, and the Live Music Society make up the musical makeup of our university and are composed by the students and alumni who are truly dedicated to audible art. What has been the society's role in Swansea? Show Choir is a place where singers and dancers of any ability, all abilities, can come together and perform and just to have fun. This is a space for people with a real common interest who have a shared experience to come together and do something you know, that they aren't able to do through any other means. Um, just provides a nice relaxed environment for people to rehearse music, to perform that music. Uh, and to get to meet each other. It's brought people together in a different way to like sport. I know that people 
people are brought together through varsity and, and sports teams and matches, but this allows people who have a passion for the arts in a variety of different ways. The inevitable question, what have been the effects of COVID on the society's members and how have you adapted? Well, it's unfortunately completely ground us to a halt, um, as I'm sure with a lot of things, you know, live music, I mean, even you know, professional levels in the West End, they can't do any performances. It's, COVID has definitely affected everything we've done in a really massive way, because yeah. not only do we have so many fewer members because we couldn't do a Freshers' Fair in September, um, but our members have struggled to adapt to learning over Zoom. So again, we've tried to move online. We are trying to hold rehearsals as best we can online. Um, people will have like an uh, earbud in their ear and they will just sing at the camera. And then I will edit it all together and put the music in the background. Yeah, it takes a long time. <laughs> wow. This is after all a centenary documentary. So what are your predictions for the next 100 years? of Swansea's music scene. Where is this all leading to? Well, I, th I think the only way is up um, at the moment. I think, you know, the musician side will continue to grow as the uni, you know, gets bigger over the years, you know, as Swansea develops as a town. Over the past, like, three to four years that I've been in show choir anyway, the LGBT community in show choir, especially myself, has grown, like, exponentially. And for me, it's so important to have a group of friends and a community where you can be yourself like completely uninhibited. I think people will always want to perform and will always need music and we've only really started to see the benefits of the university's reinvestment in music in the last few years. We get greater funding it means we're going to have better music, better like percussion instruments and more funding to go abroad as well so I think outwards as well as upwards. You know it is about the arts and I think yeah the only way is for us to get bigger in the next and again I'm sure we will still be around in another hundred years time. Ladies and gentlemen, the future is bright for Swansea's musicians. Oh my god, there is so much going on I had no idea about. Art, literature, theatre and music, we have it all. I know, right? I started off just looking for cool rock bands on campus and came across stacks and stacks of activities. It, it's insane. I love how performing and fine arts are intertwined with Welsh culture. You know, it's, it's funny how you should say that. Uh, you know, Paige's upcoming segment is about the Welsh language and its history here at Swansea University. So, Barod, Misia? Barod, for sure. The Welsh language, Yr Iaith Gymraeg, dating back to pre-Roman times, it's the oldest Celtic language in Britain. And with over 872,000 speakers in Wales alone, it's the second most learned language in the UK. And with over 26,000 speakers in Swansea alone, Swansea University is the hub for all things Iriaith Gymraeg. Y Gymraeg oedd un o'r disgyblaethau academaidd cyntaf i gael ei sefydlu yn y brif ysgol, hynny wrth gwrs ers 1923. The government's aim of creating a million Welsh speakers and users by the year 2050, there is a big push within the university to ensure each student has the right to use Welsh whichever way they come into contact with the university. Of course, mana um uh governion statidol are a brief skull eginic pithavel um thervleni do ye thog tutor and a gumrai. Uh, a cyfle i gyflwyn eich gwaith asesiedig uh, yn y Gymraeg. Mae hynny yn amlwg, ond mae Gymraeg hefyd yn bwysig um, a lefel llawer mwy uh, anffurfiol dwi'n meddwl, uh, a mae staff a myfyrwyr gan amla yn barod i, I, I defnyddio Gymraeg um, lawr y coridor neu blyd bynnag arall. Proven by the 100% student satisfaction and TEF gold rating within the thriving Welsh department at Swansea University, the university's motto is Gweddu Kreft Heb Aidaun, which states that technical skill is bereft without inspiration. In more recent years, there have been many developments in terms of Welsh language provisions. This includes the development of Academy Hall TV in 2010 
allowing for the promotion of Welsh medium opportunities across a range of subjects. If this year I go bring a gum rag, can I say I'm Dame Lad or Bethin Gimines? You will tell me back. Ah, uh, honey, and we are the Gowden Old Panamina saying good to breathe a skull. Well, uh, the very old um, swell yawn. Um, I mean, my 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 weird heat head you. Through the Welsh language and 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 through the Mae'r Cymdeithas Gymraeg yn cyfle arbennig i gyfarwyr joio Cymdeithasu a chymryd rhan mae llawer iawn o weithgareddau trwy gyfrwng y Gymraeg. The Welsh Society works closely with Coleg Cymraeg Swansea Branch and also supports the university's Welsh language rugby and netball clubs, rugby a phelroed tawi. The university also offers the chance to live with other Welsh-speaking students in designated halls of residence. And as I'm a very brave school, the wish I spend my life to get a shred of Cymraeg, I got a brave yard and a better hug. Priscilla on Singleton campus, and Emlyn on Bay. A big historical event took place in 2017 with the election of the first full-time Welsh language affairs officer after a university-wide referendum took place. This development has allowed for more Welsh language representation across the university, working closely with other full-time officers to ensure fair representation and to provide international students with a taste for the language and the culture. And this is just the beginning. Who knows where the Welsh language will be when the next centenary is celebrated here at Swansea University. Ble ydych chi'n gweld dyfodol o Gymraeg yn y ganrif nesaf am Prifasgol Abtawe? Mwn am gwestiwn mawr. Um... Dros y canon oedd nesa, credaf bydd niferoedd y siarad o Gymraeg yn cynyddu. Dic sy'n i weld o Gymraeg yn tri ddwy mewn uh, i beisydd newydd. Fel ni wedi gweld nyrsiwn yn un amlwg lle mae'r Gymraeg yn dechrau yn cael ei sefydlu nawr. Uh, a mi sydd eraill, mi sydd y meddygol eraill, a ffynciau eraill. So, lic sy'n i weld mwy o Gymraeg, darparu'r cyfrwng Cymraeg uh, ar gael uh, yn y ganrif nesa, a hynny yn adeiladiad o gwaith dad yn ei wedi wneud uh, yn barod. Dyma ddymunu penblwydd hapus iawn wrth bawb i'm brifysgol abertawa with or gyraith a cat. Da yawn, Paige! Oh, dear, welcome very yawn, Jesus. That was such a fun topic to research. It really highlights the importance of the Welsh language and how far it's come in the university. It's amazing. Yeah, I knew Welsh was prominent in the uni, but its massive impact on our societies was definitely a surprise. Oh yeah, Swansea's very proudly Welsh and every aspect of the university shows that. Okay, also, okay, I need to ask, how on earth did you get an interview with Prince Charles? Like, how? Uh, okay, um, well, while I explain to Jesus how YouTube works, um, Misha, you've been looking at international students, haven't you? Yes, so before you research YouTube, let me tell you about the international community in Swansea. I managed to interview some of my friends, students, as well as university staff like Cecilia and Sam, who is a historian and a researcher, Dr. Sharma, and they will help us discover Swansea University's history as well as e even brighter future on the horizon. We get to bring, let's put it frankly, a lot of very good, talented people into this country and hope <laughs> in some ways that they might stay, you know, and 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 contribute to all the all the knowledge and understanding that we're we're engaged in pursuing. 
I think the UK has a long history of welcoming international students and um, it's because of the wide range of subjects available and the quality of our teaching, the quality of our research. I think Swansea University has got the right atmosphere and the right environment to what we call as do cutting edge, uh, to kind of develop cutting edge technologies and to, and to get new breakthroughs. Universities are absolutely about doing cutting edge groundbreaking research. Yes. And we can say, let's use microneedles and use these microneedles to deliver the vaccine. They are about supporting and bolstering the life chances and the career options of students. And they're about taking in you know, the, the, the best of the best amongst the, the, the school leavers every year and training them up so that they can have careers. One of the key objective for us is to make sure that we provide our students with um, a lot of opportunities to study and work abroad. The engineers, the, the clinicians, the, the scientists, the material scientists, everybody coming together and working towards different applications, mainly healthcare related applications. Within the medical school we've got a partnership in Texas and um, we've also got a partnership in Gambia. There's also a large number of sort of study abroad and um, short-term visiting programs and volunteering opportunities as well within the Swansea University's Go Global team. So as a student here we would really really encourage you to use the opportunity to gain some international experience because it will really benefit your employability. If you look at, look at the, the history we've, we've contributed quite a lot and I think we need to keep on making steady contribution. We are constantly looking for new opportunities to um, to add to your experience here as a student um, but we would also welcome anybody that you know would like to work with Swansea University to get in touch as well so we can explore any new collaborations. The UK is very culturally diverse for international students as well so I think it's comfortable for them to know that they're coming to a place where they'll be welcome with open arms. Swansea is like one big community Everyone's so friendly and there's a massive community ethos across the university. When I had to make a choice between taking up a new academic position, I was thinking, and when this position came up at, at Swansea University, I was thinking, if I can make my devices at Swansea, why can't I, I do my research at Swansea as well? So Swansea is fortschrittlich. Swansea to spacerki na plaży. Swansea is common boys fresh. Swansea is evening walks by the beach. Swansea is a great place. Swansea, my dear Bhavishya ka aadhar hai. Swansea is community. Everyone knows you, you can know everyone. Swansea is like big family. The engineers, the, the clinicians, the, the scientists, the material scientists, everybody coming together and working towards different applications. It's friendly. We are from Swansea. Zato, tell me your In the next 100 years, I want Swansea to be even more impactful producing more research which impacts on both a global and a local scale. In a hundred years, I would love Swansea to be the hubbub for all kinds of different students from different walks of life. In the next hundred years, I will that Swansea weiterhin the world verändert. Neither of us will be around to see it in a hundred years' time, but hopefully, um, to know where we got there, people will be reading my book. In the next 10 years, I am excited to see the progress of Swansea. I'm really pleased to say that, you know, here at Swansea, we've continued to be open with teaching, even with, you know, COVID happening. This is going to be our next new new generation lifestyle now, wherein we will have to get used to uh, things like uh, sanitizers, masks and, um, and, and, and vaccine patches. <laughs> I think this will be a part of the new, 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 life, new way of life. We're really proud to say that we've been able to respond quickly. So making a lot of risk assessment, health and safety measures in place to make sure that first and foremost is the safety of our students and our staff. So then secondly, our teaching staff are working doubly hard to make sure that the quality of our teaching hasn't changed at all. So, um, you know, we're really, really happy to hear from some of our students that actually they are giving us positive feedback um, from studying online as well. It's a place that I'm proud to call my home. Jestem z tego dumna. Again, another really inspiring piece there, Misha. So many cultures, so many languages and people. I particularly love the segments with students talking in different languages. Thank you so much, Paige. I really look forward to showing you that part. As soon as I asked for short questions, everyone was keen to help me. 
But now, the inevitable question for you. Why do you think Swansea University's international community will be in 100 years' time? That's a very good point. I believe that we are so strong in that regard that we would that we could really be a role model for different institutions around the globe if we, of course, keep growing. If, if we keep grow, of course we'll keep growing. This is Swansea. And talking about growing, I feel I've grown a lot. And so have you two. Like, along this documentary, while we've been making it, I've learned a lot of things. From editing, to interviewing, to everything. So, I don't know, like Paige, for example, what have you learned along this uh, documentary road? Oh, I've learned so much. Like you said, I feel like I've grown as a person too. You know, I, I want to go into broadcasting and this opportunity, well, I feel prepared to get into the world of employability now in a couple of months time. So I just feel a more rounded person. Misha, what have you learned? What have you enjoyed the most? Well, to me, definitely, I think the best part. At the beginning, I was a bit nervous, but then I grown into it. And I really think like the opportunity of getting to know complete strangers and learn from them, it's absolutely amazing. What about you, Jesus? What have you learned? And have, do you know now how to interview the Prince of Wales? <laughs> well, I mean, Paige uh, explained to me how that was plausible. Thank you. But uh, yeah, I've learned a couple of things, especially editing, because I had no idea how to do that. I now know how to put really cool music on videos and interviewing, just like you said, like talking to strangers and getting great conversations. That I think is a useful skill. So thank you, Aspire to Be. We want to thank all of you who have taken part in these interviews, despite these challenging times that we're in at the minute. Also, a huge shout out to the iBroadcast team and the Swansea Employability Academy, whose support along the way kept us going despite the bumps and the adversities we encountered. We are so proud of what we've done. And just like Swansea, we aspire to be making waves and find our happily ever after. So thank you so much for such a challenging yet enriching experience and a chance to celebrate this important milestone in the university's history. I hope that every single one of you who's watched us enjoyed it and could be inspired and resonate with what Swansea is all about. So to put it in a nutshell, we are professionals. We work together. We care. We are making waves. We are making waves. We are making waves. <laughs>